Russia has resumed attacks on civilian ships in the Odessa region. In recent days, two civilian ships have been hit. As the Financial Times writes, citing data from the Odessa region leadership, since July 2023, the sea and river ports of the Odessa region have been subjected to about 200 strikes. To target ports, Russia mainly uses ballistic missiles, which can arrive within minutes of launch, making them difficult to intercept. The management of the Odessa seaport told the FT that the Russian attacks had forced businesses to store their products further inland to reduce the risks, noting that although the port had been damaged, it would take nuclear weapons to destroy the entire port. Kiev officials say Russia attacked 21 cargo ships after it withdrew from the UN-brokered grain export deal. Ukraine then began shipping goods out of its ports under the cover of coastal air defense systems. Ukrainian Reconstruction Minister Oleksiy Kuleba said the attacks were an attempt to disrupt the successful operation of the export corridor. According to the Ukrainian Ministry of Agriculture, weekly grain exports rose 56% to 11.2 million tons in September this year, compared to 7.2 million tons in October last year. According to Kuleba, Ukraine exported 70 million tons of grain last year using 2,500 vessels. The aim of Russian attacks can only be to increase instability in sensitive regions of the world that depend on food imports, the minister believes. Meanwhile, UK maritime intelligence company Ambre has advised shipping teams to conduct a comprehensive dynamic threat assessment during a voyage and for crew members to remain on their vessels during attacks. It is noteworthy that the Russian Defense Ministry has not yet commented on the attack on Ukraine that took place on Monday. At the same time, the cargo ship that was hit on Sunday was called a Ukrainian military ship in Russia. As always, the Russians did not provide any evidence for this assertion. Recall on October the 7th, two Russian Iskander M ballistic missiles damaged the Palau registered cargo ship Optima. As a result of the attack by the occupiers, one Ukrainian was killed and five more foreign crew members were injured. Four of the injured are in serious condition. On October the 6th, the cargo ship Paresa flagged to St. Kitts and Nevis and loaded with grain and corn was damaged. It was bound for Italy. Turkey has deployed two Navy ships to evacuate its citizens from Lebanon amid rising tensions in the region. According to a statement from the Turkish Foreign Ministry, the ships, which can accommodate up to 2,000 passengers, will start evacuations Wednesday. The two ships are part of a larger six-vessel convoy that departed the southern port of Mersin early Wednesday. It sailed through the Mediterranean Sea and reached Beirut Wednesday afternoon. Besides evacuating citizens, the ships will be carrying humanitarian aid for Lebanon, the ministry said. The more than 300 tons of aid includes tents, food and blankets, according to the Turkish Defense Ministry. The foreign ministry said additional evacuations would be organized if necessary.
bize tevdi edilen vazife Cumhurbaşkanımız Sayın Recep Tayyip Erdoğan'ın talimatlarıyla Lübnan'da yaşayan vatandaşlarımızı salimen, emniyetle talepleri doğrultusunda Türkiye'ye intikal ettirmektir.